Hi, my name is Callie Weaver, and today we're going to be reading a story. The story we're going to be reading is Pete the Cat Plays Hide and Seek. This book is written and illustrated by Kimberly and James Dean. All right. Pete the Cat Plays Hide and Seek. Pete and the gang love to play hide and seek. And who's the first seeker? Cool cat Pete. You see Pete and all of his friends. Since Pete is it, he covers both of his eyes and he counts to 10 as everyone hides. Pete counts quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then he opens his eyes and looks for his friends. Ready or not, here I come. Do you think you can see where Pete's friends are hiding? Pete looks everywhere. Pete runs to see. Pete quickly thinks where, oh, where could Gus be? Groovy, he spots Gus hiding behind a tree. Do you see Gus behind the tree? Hope it's him. But it's not Gus at all. How can that be? It's just a mailbox hiding behind the tree. Uh-oh. Ready or not, Pete is still it. It's all groovy because Pete never quits. Found Gus. Pete keeps on looking. Pete runs to see. Pete quickly thinks, where, oh, where could alligator be? Out of sight, dynamite. He spots alligator on the bus to the right. Do you see alligator on the bus? But that's not alligator. Pete wants to fuss. It's just Bob's surfboard sitting on the bus. Silly Pete. Ready or not, Pete is still it. It's all groovy because Pete never quits. He keeps on searching. Pete runs to see. Pete quickly thinks, where, oh, where could turtle and squirrel be? Do you see where turtle and squirrel are? Maybe? No doubt, far out. There's turtle and squirrel at the playground, he shouts. Let's see. But it isn't turtle at all. Pete starts to groan. It turns out to be a polka dot stone. Oh man, Pete says, this wasn't the plan. That's not squirrel, that's a watering can. He hasn't found any of his friends yet. Ready or not, Pete is still it. But it's all groovy because Pete never quits. Pete takes one last look. Pete runs to see. Pete thinks quicker. Where, oh, where could Grumpy Toad be? Whoa, too cool. He spots Grumpy Toad hiding by the pool. But that isn't Grumpy Toad. Pete starts to sigh. Why is Granny's armchair sitting poolside? That's crazy place for a chair. Suddenly Pete stops. Is hide and seek really fun? What if he keeps trying and he still can't find anyone? This time Pete doesn't rush. He takes a slow, deep breath in. Then he opens his eyes and looks around again. There's Grumpy, there's Squirrel, there's Turtle, Alligator, and Gus. The whole gang says, yay, Pete, you found all of us. Do you see all five of Pete's friends? See, things aren't always as they first appear. If you take a deep breath, things become clear. Pete is a good seeker. He is happy he took his hot time. Cause Pete's favorite part of hide and seek is when he gets to hide. What a good book. I'm so glad we found all of Pete and his friends.